we are back at the ramps after four days off, ready to, to do this again. We have a little bit more than one week left here in Park City. This thing is not my friend today. I forgot to take off the hoodie and change to like a shorter one. <laughs> oh. What are you going to do now? I'm gonna start with the back foot tuck. That was not very good. Just took off and your skis were a little scissored. And then it came over the top, really threw for you your yeah. landing. Keep your arms to your side. No, I don't want to see your arms come higher than right here. Okay, so what exactly are you doing on your jump? I'm working on different backflips. We think that if you do a lot of different backflips, you get a better control of the trick. What's going on in your head before you jump? I think about what I'm gonna do in the air. Tall, push, get the hips. Maybe. I am thinking about like the one thing that Scott told me. You want to land a little bit forward because the snow is not flat, you know? The snow is like this. Why is it so important that you're here? Most of all, we get a lot of jumps done in like a, like a month. We do two sessions a day and also, you no know, being coming from Scandinavia, it's pretty nice to have some nice sunshine, good weather training. What's Hedvig's, you know, um, what does she need to work on here? Most of all, what we're looking for here, like, it's to get the average of the jumps better, you know. So, like, it's a level, like, even the bad jumps should be better than her best jumps last year. That's what you get with a lot of repetition, and she's doing really good. Her bad jumps, I say, this year are better than her good jumps last year. The first session is done, and I've done... Pretty much just back lace and back tuck. Like some session you do like every trick that you can. In some sessions you just focus on one trick. And that's what I did today. It was a bit hard today actually. I think the two last ones was the best ones. That's a good thing. <laughs> Hello! We are back! Ooh. So warm outside right now. Um, with my thin wetsuit. I'm ready for session two and uh, I'm jumping on the mogul. And I'm a bit scared because it's so fast. And like last time I did it, my skin was like, Wee. Do I start with a tuck? Yep. Oh, we had one hour break. I ate lunch like super fast and slept for 10 minutes and then we went back again so i'm still i feel like i'm sleepwalking i think i'm gonna do a little bit of everything some back flips maybe some front flips mostly just get used to a different jump because it's way different oh. How did it look? <laughs> it's really different, so it gets like a couple of jumps to get used to it. Are you nervous? Yeah. Why? I'm nervous to go out for the new bus and walk down on it. Okay. Ah. <laughs> 
eye of the danger zone. That's the top secret here, so please, please don't film. It's okay. Uh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's better. It's uh, it's still really different. Super quick and slippery. I feel I don't have control on my skis, kind of. And uh, like you can't in the in run, like when it goes down before the jump, you can't, or I feel I can't stand up in the position I want as I do in the other one. You need to wait and then just do it right before. And that's a bit difficult. It's fun to do front flips. It's so quick. It's fun to do a different jump, even though it's difficult. Difficult is good, then you get better. You need to work on things, and that's fun. Oh, you stink! Nice! Woo! Try it! Try your river!